Hi, this is Warren Sloan. I'm going to go through a real quick thing to change a parent to a team manager and give her access to her team pages. All right, so we're on Jamestown Youth Soccer Club's website, jiyc.org. I'm going to log in. And sign in. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find the new team manager. And let's go to admin manual, which is my easiest way of finding them. Um, this particular case, we're looking for Dickerson. Uh, so I've got Lori Dickerson here. And I just click her name, and it will pop up to her account. Um, I'm going to move this over just slightly so we can see all of her stuff. Uh, here is the volunteer tab, so I'm going to click on this. And I am going to select this one here because she is uh, the U14 team manager. So I'm going to say vol find volunteer roles. And this is Molly, so the U14. I'm going to select team manager and then hit continue. And I'm going to do Lori Dickerson and I'm going to hit continue. All right, and all that is going to be the same, so I'm just going to hit continue. All right, so now she is listed as the team manager for U14. Now, what we also have to do is go up here to Teams, click on it. We need to find the uh, Classic and Challenge, click on that and then find the U14 girls. All right, and then we need to edit um, the team. So we're gonna click on that, and we're going to go to step two. And so here are the names of the volunteers, and here are the roles here. So Sandy Sanders was the team manager, so I'm going to delete him as team manager, and I'm going to say remove selected. And then I'm going to scroll down to find Lori Dickerson, and I'm going to put a plus mark beside her and add selected. All right, and now she appears down here. All right, so I'm going to hit next. Uh, really nothing I need to do here. Um, uh, so let's just look at here. Uh, the one thing I will need to do is this particular player is not playing anymore with this squad. Um, I'm going to leave that there because I think there might be some accounting things, but that's something we need to take care of. And then we'll click on finish. All right, so now let's go back to common. Let's go to admin manual and Dickerson and let's see if anything's changed there I'm not quite sure uh, but let me check on it all right so um, okay I'm gonna visit the team page and now she has edit accessibility um, and then we need to take this out of here as well. Uh, Thomas, you'll need an account. Uh, let's see whether Thomas has an account in here um, so that we can see about him. Let's see, MC. No idea how to spell Thomas's name. <laughs> ah, there he is. All right, so it's not going to let me do it unless I spell it right. So then we have that. And so we're going to click on him. Uh, this will go to his account. We will make him a volunteer. And we're going to find a volunteer role. And we're going to do show more. Uh, he is going to be in the select class challenge. So we're going to click on that. Then hit view roles. All right, so U13 boys, U14 boys, U13 girls, U14 girls. Let's make him a head coach. And then we're going to scroll down here to continue. All right, 
right, and we're going to click on his profile. All right, do, 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 do. Let's go load for a minute. No, because I'm assuming he hasn't done anything wrong, at least in this country. So I'm going to go back to Teams. Go select the Classic and Challenge. Select the U14 Girls Classic. And I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to step two, which is the volunteers. So I've got Alan Albright as head coach, Lori Dickerson, and I'm going to take those two off of there. And I'm going to find Thomas up here and add him as the head coach. All right, so now your, your volunteers are correct. You hit next. That looks good. We're going to save all changes. All right, good. Now your team is all set up um, with the proper volunteers um, and their proper roles. So that is it. This is how to change someone's roles within uh, Blue Sombrero. So now I'm going to log out. All right, bye-bye.